Micro-Ohmmeter Test Leads This video will describe the color coding of our test leads and correct connection method to our micro-ohmmeters. AEMC offers many different Kelvin test probes that are designed to work with our line of micro-ohmmeters. We currently stock 14 different part numbers for these leads. More importantly, these Kelvin probes have different combinations of color coding on their leads. Our micro-ohmmeter instruments also have color-coded terminals on the instrument's front panel. These colored terminals do not always correlate with the test lead colors. This makes connecting the leads more work than just matching the colors. We will now describe the different color combinations and the correct connection method to our micro-ohmmeters. Instrument front panels. All of our micro-ohmmeters have four terminal connections for Kelvin measurement. These consist of two pairs of terminals with each pair containing a C and a P connection for current sourcing and potential sensing respectively. One pair of these is red and one pair is black. Conversely, each handheld Kelvin probe has a current injection lead and a potential sensing lead. When connecting to the instrument, each of the handheld probe's two leads should be connected to a C and P terminal pair on the instrument. The same orientation should be used for each probe. Depending on the part number, the color coding of the handheld Kelvin probe may not match the color coding of the instrument's front panel. This chart will show examples of our Kelvin probes and color codes. We have three combinations for our 6240 and 6250, and one combination for our 6292. We will now walk through the connection methods for the different probe styles and color combinations. Style Group A for 6240 and 6250. When using the five part numbers from the Style Group A, where the leads are red, red, and black, black, then the connections are going to be straightforward and the color coding will match up to the instrument's terminals. Note, these leads are not approved for use with the model 6292. For probes 1 and 2, red lead to red C and red P on the instrument, black lead to black C and black P on the instrument. You still need to be mindful of their orientation in that the black lead connected to C2 and the red lead connected to C1 need to be the same side of the jaw for the most accurate results. Style Group B for 6240 and 6250. When using the three part numbers from Style Group B, where the leads are red black and red black, then the connections will not match the color coding on the instrument's terminals. In these cases, the black lead will always connect to a C terminal and the red lead will always connect to a P terminal or vice versa. Note, these leads are not approved for use with the model 6292. For probe number one, black lead to red C1, red lead to red P1. For probe number two, Red lead to black E2, black lead to black C2. Style Group C for 6240 and 6250. When using the four part numbers from Style Group C, where the leads are red black and red black, and there's a red dot on the probe tip, then the connections will not match the color coding on the instrument's terminals. In these cases, the black lead will always connect to a C terminal, and a red lead will always connect to a P terminal, or vice versa. Note, these leads are not approved for use with the model 6292. For probe number one, black lead to red C1, red lead to red P1. For probe number two, red lead to black P2, black lead to black C2. Style group D for 6292. When using the two part numbers from style group D for the 6292, the leads are black red and black black, and the probes are C clamps rated for 200 amps. The connections will not match the color coding on the meter's terminals. In this case, the thicker black leads will always connect to a C terminal, and the thinner red and thinner black lead will always connect to a P terminal. These leads are designed specifically for the 200 amp 6292. For probe number one, thick black lead to red C plus, thin red lead to red P plus. For probe number two, thin black lead to black P minus, thick black lead to black C minus. We hope you found this useful for properly connecting test leads to our micro ohmmeters. For more information about these and all other AEMC instruments, please visit our website at www.aemc.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date on all future video uploads. Thank you. Mm -hmm.